Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat, we're going to learn about the Valley of Dry Bones. Now, little Hebrews, when we look in the scriptures at Ezekiel 37, we see that Ezekiel was given a very powerful prophecy about Yisrael. Now, before we learn about the prophecy given to Ezekiel, about Yisrael, let's first learn what prophecy means. In little Hebrews, prophecy means to predict, to foretell, to see the future. Do you know why this is important? It is important to see things in the future that Yah wants us to see so that Yisrael as a nation would know what's coming next, how to stay out of Hashatan's traps, how and what we should prepare for by knowing things to come. Little Hebrews, Yah showed Ezekiel a valley full of bones, not just any old bones, but bones that were dry. You see, little Hebrews, these dry bones represented Yisrael. So what does it mean to represent something? Well, to represent something means to be a symbol of something or someone. Okay, for instance, if your parents told you to go to the neighbor's house and ask them if they could borrow a cup of sugar, your neighbor understands that you are asking them for a cup of sugar for your parents and not for yourself. So you are representing your parents you are being a symbol of them so these dry bones that Yah showed Ezekiel were representation of a symbol of Yisrael and Yah was showing Ezekiel things going on and things to happen in the future with Yisrael now these dry bones that Yah showed Ezekiel were dead in their spirit, little Hebrews. See, these bones were once the people of Yisrael, but Yisrael had been dead spiritually for so long that their bones were dry, little Hebrews. Yah was showing Ezekiel that there was no spiritual life in Yisrael. Little Hebrews, Yisrael was spiritually dead. So how do you become spiritually dead? You stop following Yah. You stop being obedient to Yah's laws and commandments. You start doing the things that the world does. You no longer set yourself apart unto Yah. These are ways to become spiritually dead, little Hebrews. See, our Hebrew Israelite ancestors were making carbon images. They were worshiping and serving the gods of pagans. They were no longer following Yah, and they became spiritually dead. You know what Proverbs 21 and 16 tells us? It tells us that the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Now, to wander, wander, little Hebrews, means to walk away from or to walk out of the way of understanding so you see little Hebrews if we walk away from the word of Yah or the understanding that Yah has given us we become a part of the congregation or assembly or group of those dead in spirit what also happened is that Yisrael lost its identity little Hebrews we no longer know who we are. Yisrael is like a bunch of dry, dry bones, little Hebrews. We break easily. And if a good, strong wind comes along, we can easily be blown away. Leafy. You know, little Hebrews, Yisrael has been dead for a long, long time, blowing from one pagan religion to another pagan religion to another pagan religion. Leafy. Well, let's look at the scriptures. Okay, so Isaiah 65 verse 2 says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way not good after their own thoughts. 
You see little, little Hebrews, what Yah was saying. He was saying that he has always offered shalom, love, care, blessings, good things to Yisrael. But Yisrael rebelled, followed pagan beliefs, followed after what they thought was right rather than following Yah's laws and commandments. Well, while Yah was showing Ezekiel these dry bones, you know what Yah asked Ezekiel, little Hebrews? Yah asked Ezekiel if he thought those dry bones could live again. Well, Ezekiel answered by saying, oh, Yah, you know. So Yah said again to Ezekiel to prophesy upon those bones and say unto them, oh, you dry bones, hear the word of Yah. Did you hear that little Hebrews? Yah told Ezekiel to speak to those dry bones and tell them to hear the word of Yah. You see, little Hebrews, this shows us that those bones, Yisrael, had stopped listening and following the word of Yah. Yisrael was listening to everything and everyone else other than Yah. And with that, little Hebrews, that's the first part of our lesson on Valley of Dry Bones. And now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.